Hello world, my name is Darnell Stephan Summers. I'm a member of the Stop the War Brigade. The Stop the War Brigade was founded in 1990 by anti-war activists, Vietnam veterans, and active duty soldiers shortly after the Western-sponsored Iraqi invasion of Kuwait. Joe ist ein Soldat der amerikanischen Armee hier in Deutschland zurzeit stationiert und amerikanische Soldaten dürfen sich eigentlich im Moment in der Öffentlichkeit nicht äußern, weil man ein möglichst positives Bild von der Truppe zeichnen will, wenn es um den Golfkrieg geht. Joe, how long have you been serving Joe, wie lange with the US dienst Army du schon in der USA-Armee in Deutschland? In ich bin Germany jetzt in Deutschland in der Armee ein Jahr lang. Why have you joined Warum US bist Army? du in die USA-Armee also, eingetreten, no obwohl es ja keine Wehrpflicht in den USA gibt? Ich bin in die USA-Armee eingetreten, um meine Bildung in der Hochschule weiter finanzieren zu können. Would you have joined the US Army Wärest if du in die USA-Armee eingetreten, wenn du gewusst hättest, dass dieser Golfkrieg ausbrechen no würde? Das hätte ich keineswegs getan. Ich wäre keineswegs in die Armee eingetreten, wenn ich gewusst hätte, dass der Golfkrieg ausbricht. What would happen to Was würde einem USA-Soldaten passieren, der sich weigert, nach Saudi-Arabien zu gehen? Nun, ein USA-Soldat, der sich einfach weigern würde, der würde bestraft werden, diszipliniert werden, wahrscheinlich aus der Armee ausgeschlossen werden, aber davor würde er noch ins Gefängnis gesteckt werden, wenn er sich einfach weigern würde. What is the general mood Wie ist die allgemeine in Stimmung army? in deiner Armeeeinheit? Die allgemeine Stimmung in meiner Armee besteht aus zwei Extremen. Es gibt diejenigen, die wie John Wayne denken und die denken, die könnten jeden Indianer töten und könnten einfach mit einer kleinen Verwundung zurückkommen und wären dann ein Held und hätten noch eine Auszeichnung. Und dann gibt es auch noch meine Brigade sozusagen. Sie erkennen die Realität des Tötens und sie wissen, dass ein Krieg falsch ist. Und deshalb sagen wir einfach nein. Ja, Joe, Steffen, danke, dass ihr hier wart. Ich wünsche euch, wish you all the best. All right. Thank you for coming. And just say no. Just, just, just say no. Just after that event, and before the second Gulf War even started, we came to the conclusion that the high-pitched rhetoric of war would indeed become a reality with consequences that would lead to untold and terrible suffering for humanity. Our concerns were well-founded. Although covert war, media demonization, and sanctions exacted a heavy toll on the Iraqi people and other countries and other targets, all-out war brings with it a set of circumstances that catapult us to the brink of disaster. It is in that armor that we must act and act decisively. Brothers will be dying, and mothers will be crying. Brothers will be dying, and mothers will be crying. Brothers will be dying, and mothers will be crying. And what's it all for? Oh, just another rich man's war. Oh, brothers will be dying. And the Stop the War Brigade, anti-war and peace groups and individuals have issued a call for global actions and dialogue. Army Tell me you joined the army to kill It is absolutely necessary for us to bring the debate to the people of the world. The people who want to live in peace. The people who want to protect the planet. The people who want to guarantee us all a future. The real criminals are in the halls of Congress, in the Senate, the White House, the huge multinational. Yesterday I had the opportunity to once again watch the collateral murder video that was released with the WikiLeaks disclosure of U.S. government secret documents reporting on the actual military operations during the war and the lead up to it. This was made possible through the efforts of a soldier in the United States Army, Private First Class Bradley Manning, who demonstrated great wisdom, bravery, and conviction in risking imprisonment and even death to bring the truth to light. 
We as a citizenry cannot take responsibility for our government if we do not know what our government is doing behind closed doors. Documents that we weren't even meant to see. Documents whose secrecy is based on the necessity to deceive the entire world as to the true nature of the war and who and what was behind it. Support those resisting this war. Thanks a lot for having us over here. There was one scene that deeply saddened me in that video. It was horrible. In spite of me being a former soldier, it was difficult for me to watch such a senseless and criminal act of violence. A man lay wounded and helpless in the street and suffered horrifically from a previous attack. A U.S. helicopter gunship was hovering overhead, watching him, stalking him like an animal. The pilots opened fire on one individual. High caliber projectiles riddled his body. No mercy was shown, none. His life was extinguished as if he had no right to live. Who and what allows such a state of affairs to even exist? We have a responsibility to meet the challenge. Join with us in building a network for the Global Actions Peace Initiative 2013. We need to talk. We need to act. Just say no, say no. So in the